he is again. Here he is again. That's astonishing. Oh. It's absolutely world class. Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for checking out the video. So if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail, this is going to be a much different video. Um, I just picked up something and uh, I've actually been acquiring parts for this, uh, this car for a while. Uh, I've had the parts actually before I purchased the car, which is classic me. Um, always want to mod stuff. But anyway, I got a daily driver, a new to me daily driver, and I'm gonna put some bunch of stuff on it. So I'm going to show you the car. Um, this is probably going to be one big long video of a bunch of different parts that I kind of pieced together over time. So um, I want to show you the car completely stock in its stock form um, before we get much further. And uh, yeah, this is going to be it's going to be fun. So let's uh, check this thing out. Before I got into off-roading, I actually wanted to have like a little tuner to mess with. Like that was kind of like my 16 year old dream car or whatever not this car but that style um so anyway i found one at a good deal and my truck is getting so out of control ridiculous that um, i just wanted to have something polar opposite all right so this is a new to me 2017 mark 7 golf gti so if you don't know anything about these cars uh, this thing has a turbo and it is stupid easy to mod and make go fast and it's four-door I can fit Henry back there. It's kind of a practical car and this thing gets like 30 Miles a gallon, which is nuts. There's a couple cosmetic issues a little dent right there and a little Kind of fender hit right here, but it's very clean. It's a one owner. It's got 80,000 miles The interior is perfect. The service history is perfect. Everything's awesome um, I picked this up in Kansas City, Missouri. What I'm gonna do first, since I have them, is put these wheels and tires on. So these are Turbo Mac HD from 1552. If you guys watch any like the uh, Jim Connors or No Ken Block or whatever, this is kind of like his wheel. And um, ever since I watched those, I loved those. I loved these wheels. Like I wanted them so bad. Shout out to Fitment Industries for hooking this up. Again, they're just like trail built. So you buy a wheel and tire package, they ship it. Um, they balance it and mount it all for free. When you get them to your driveway, you just slap them on and you're done. So all leather inside, um, six speed manual. I wanted a manual so bad. If you're going to have a fun car, a daily, the manual's the way to go. I've had two vehicles that were manual. This is my third, 80,000 miles. And, um, if I didn't say it already, I'm going to do a stage two build. So this thing is going to rip and it already rips stock. Like it, this thing is so fast. I'm going to put on these wheels and tires and then we'll move on to cold air intake, turbo inlet, a downpipe, an AW exhaust, just all kinds of stuff that are just bolt on stuff in the driveway. So this thing's going to be sweet. guys so we skipped ahead and i already put the wheels on and some other parts my buddy josh and i we put this uh arm cold air intake on a uh ecs diverter valve spacer so those are the two mods we have done so far we have a entire arm intercooler and charge pipe kit going in today there's the old air box right here's the front mount intercooler about to paint it up um, with the stencil. It fits perfectly behind that honeycomb grill in front of the radiator. Gonna look really good. And then later on down the road, we'll do the downpipe, turbo inlet, and a bunch of other stuff. All right, here's our update. We have the ARM intercooler in, all the charge pipes pretty much in everywhere around here underneath inside here the new turbo inlet um the turbo 
muffler delete back there. Intake's going back in. Bumper's gonna go on. This is some of the old, of course I don't have the new stuff to show you the difference, but some of the old piping was really small. And here's some of the new piping, so the diameter is much bigger. That's gonna drop in. And we're almost there. What's up guys, quick update on more parts on the GTI. Okay, we've got a lot of things. We have brakes, we have new uh, drilled and slotted rotors, and some really nice brake pads. These uh, rotors are just crap. They're, they have, they're grooved and I don't think I can turn them anymore. Also I have the front bumper off again because I just made some brackets for these. They're gonna go on that bolt, come out like this to mount some Bajas right here. We'll have one there, in there. All this will be exposed, looking super sweet. The other thing I did was cut the honeycomb out of the grill and sanded all this down. So previously, all these teeth were sticking out right there. From a distance, it looked good, but up close, it looked terrible. So I'm gonna put that ring around there to clean that up. Yeah, front and rear brakes going in, the Bajas going in, the new trimmed grill going in. But update, got the front brakes totally on and done, and then got all this tidied up. This looks so freaking cool. So you can't see because of the light, but I uh, you know, cut that honeycomb out, put a nice piece of edge trim back here, sanded it real nice. And uh, this gave it a lot of structure by keeping this little piece back in. Anyway, Bajas are in, looks mint. Just have to run this, this harness in there, but this is honestly the hard part. So just putting the wheels on now, got the front end back together. I got some gangster gold uh, lug bolts, but this thing's looking sweet. All right guys, so the next part of the GTI build is the AWE exhaust and the ARM Catalyst downpipe. So we're here at my buddy's uh, shop at Mercedes, he works here. Harry Holler, you guys might remember him from a couple videos way back when. What, what is this you're working on, Harry? A 190E. He's working on a 190E, doing some brakes. We have the GTI on a lift over here. Here's kind of the parts rundown. We have the touring exhaust from AWE, the black tips. I'm gonna swap out to the track edition. Well, I'm gonna have both, so if it, the track's too loud, I can swap back to this. If this is not quiet, or not, if this is too quiet, I can swap to the track. And this is the ARM Catalyst downpipe. I'm doing Catalyst because I guess we can, because Arkansas, there's no laws against it. No emissions or anything like that. But here's the OEM exhaust. Looks like I ran over a plastic bag. That's why everything's been stinking. So that's awesome. This stuff from AWE looks amazing as always. I have the their exhaust on my truck, my Tacoma, and I've loved it. It's been amazing. There's no drone or anything. There's a look at the black tips. These things look really good. I think it's a four inch and then three inch throughout. Finished it, it's all done. It wasn't terrible, but we had to loosen these clamps and tighten them a lot to get it to fit perfectly. And uh, loosen a lot, of, a lot of stuff and tighten it up there in the downpipe too, but fits really good. We'll let it settle for a while. I'll probably do a startup video like at home or whatever and you guys can hear that, like a cold start. And this is all the old stuff. Appreciate the help, Harry. Thanks, bro. <laughs> oh, rich. The smell? The smell or the sound? Yeah. It sounds pretty mellow, idle. It's just deeper, but quiet. All right, 
up next on the GTI, we have a rear bumper replacement. Just an OEM bumper replacement. <laughs> I'm replacing this OEM bumper because I bought it this way. This scuff is super annoying. It got kind of crunched in here. The previous owner did all this stuff. And this is the worst of all. Um, big ol' hole. We got a smoking good deal on Black Friday for this painted and shipped OEM brand new bumper. Oh, another couple things I did is I debadged the car and I added these emblems, which are pretty sweet. Got rid of the chrome and kind of paint matched. Took the badge off there. Have an emblem here. I'll show you in the light and everything when it's finished. Just making it look really, really, really clean as I can and this bumper is part of it. So I'm not gonna film any of the install of the bumper because who cares, it's just a bumper. Alrighty, it's been about a week since I put on the bumper, but we're doing new coils and new spark plugs. These plugs weren't that bad. I did a couple really hard pulls. Again, I'm on, I'm not on a tune right now. I don't know, the car didn't like it at all. So I uh, did a couple hard pulls and it went into limp mode basically. Shut the car off and it worked fine after that. But doing some research, it's coil or spark plug related. And since this is a new to me vehicle, I'm just gonna do it anyway. So I know that it, it's been done. These are the factory OE coils. They're probably fine to be honest. I'm still gonna keep these. And I've heard that these are still the way to go even aftermarket. But I already bought these, I think before I owned the car. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't, I guess I didn't do a, a good enough research, but I don't know if these are, these are bad or good, whatever. I got them anyway, they look good. So gonna put them in. <clears throat> and then these are the R, crap, what are they? RS7 maybe, spark plugs. I heard these are good for a tune. Um, again, I don't have the tune yet. Well, I do, but it's not installed. So anyway, gonna put these plugs in and put these coils in. Just showing you kind of what this is. So here's each cylinder. So the plugs go right in there and then this will drop in right there. You'll plug your coil pack there, put the ground on it. It's stupid easy. Maybe I'll show you a clip at the end, but I don't know if it's necessary. I just wanted to document that I'm doing this. Yeah, the car is coming along, man. I cannot wait to lower it. It's driving me nuts how tall it is. I think that really took me like 30 minutes, top. Not bad at all. Just gotta put the cover on, which is down there. Easy. Hey guys, we're back with some more updates. We are almost there, um, wrapping up this build. We knocked out a lot of big things here. So I took the car to Faytown Imports and they did a fantastic job. They put a South Bend Stage 3 Daily Clutch in here, um, some H&R lowering springs, and I had a Euro short throw shifter and they put that in there as well. But they did a banging job. It looks so good lowered. It looks so, so, so good. The clutch is definitely a lot stiffer, but uh, it feels great. I'm already used to it. So I have 100 miles down out of the 500 mile break-in period, but I'm gonna go ahead and install the IE Stage 2 tune. I'm gonna be very disciplined and not rip this thing, you know, while the, the clutch is being broken in. I also got some little air scoop, air dam scoop things that I'm gonna throw in. Gonna do the tune. And the final piece of the AWE exhaust came in. I currently have the AWE Touring exhaust. It's a fantastic exhaust for like daily driving. It's not loud enough for me. Part of having a, a car like this is to like feel it and experience it. So I wanna hear this thing. AWE track exhaust. So this is just the little conversion piece. This is the track piece. And then the only thing that makes it the touring exhaust is this piece right here has an actual muffler on it. So, which also sounds fantastic, but again, I just wanna have the option to swap them out. All right, so check it out. It is definitely lowered. I mean, I know my fender is jacked up back there, but look how look how tight that is. It looks awesome. I think it dropped it at least an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter, maybe even more than that. Like that fits so good. I love that. Next part, I have two of these from ECS Tuning. These are just some little air scoops. I don't even know what these are called. They go in the grill. It's ridiculously easy you just take this little piece off we'll trim it basically it'll bring some air from from the grill here it'll bring it up into the intake a lot more directly this this is kind of a crappy way to get air because once the hood's closed it doesn't really go up in there very good at all this will go in just like that we'll have one on this side and that side and i got red because 
I'm a ricer boy. Short throw is installed in there. You can't see it, but it's down there. Everything feels so tight. The clutch feels super good. It drives amazing. Just lowering it made it handle a lot better. Everything's tight. Desperately need a engine detail. All right, guys, we are pretty much wrapped up on this build. This is like one of the, if not the last things. I'm over here at my buddy Greg's place. Say hi to Greg. What's up? So he has a company called Bear Off-Road yep. where they do a lot of Jeep stuff, um, gears, um, yeah, suspension, gears, all yeah, that stuff, yeah, all that stuff. So he's literally like basically my neighbor. So <laughs> Pretty close. check out Greg and uh, what he's got going on. But I want to give him a shout out for letting me use his lift because this thing is so low now that I can't even put a jack under it almost. <laughs> we almost didn't get this lift up. Yeah, that's pretty pretty funny. Uh, this is the touring exhaust piece that I had from AWE. The touring one I had in there, it really sounded good when you stepped on it and uh, it was extremely quiet inside the car, but I like loud things. So <laughs> I wanted to uh, put their track piece on. It's also cool too, like say it is too loud for whatever reason, I can put this back on and it's just a couple V-band clamps there. I just finished really detailing this thing. It is squeaky clean. I spent a lot of time on the engine bay. Don't really have a before picture. I mean, you guys can go back in the video and check it out. Um, if I have a clip even, I don't even remember. Um, cleaned all back in here, cleaned the hood. It's like actually shiny. It was really caked and dirty, but you can see the shine on there. Got all these hoses looking good. I mean, it's not perfect, but it is remarkably better. Cleaned all this oil around the oil filter and the oil fill in here. Cleaned a bunch of stuff back there. The fuel rail, this cover, it's definitely clean. And then I spent a lot of time in here cleaning all that. You can see right there, that was really nasty back in there, but it's a lot better. Certainly looks good. Very stoked on this little thing. Way different than this. <laughs> Did the interior too. But I wiped everything down in here. But it's pretty clean for having a kid back here. All right, we finally made it to the end. And I continuously keep stretching this video and delaying it and delaying it because I keep buying parts and putting it on this car. So I'm putting my foot down and we're gonna end it right here. Uh, even though I still have parts in the garage I haven't put on yet. But I've had this car for like several months and I still haven't put out this video. Some of the last parts that I've put on uh, is all on the rear. This is a brand new ECS carbon fiber diffuser and it makes the rear end just look so aggressive, so mean. Install was really easy. The quality, fit and finish on this thing is amazing. I mean, it weighs nothing, it's obviously carbon fiber. But I think it ties in the rear, the rear end with those fins and everything, looks amazing. A Couple things I have yet to do is I'm gonna darken, I'm gonna tint these uh, tail lights. And I've already done that on here, just to kind of test it with some Laminex, so I have that to put on here. And then I bought an Aerofab spoiler, the V2, which is a very, very mild, really nice, subtle, spoiler that goes back here and extends this like maybe two inches or so and uh i think once i do the tail lights and the little spoiler the rear end will just be totally sweet and uh and all done and then one more thing i did was i did a lug stud conversion i think i put it in the beginning of this video but i had some gold wheel lugs that i bought put the gold ones in there and they were like okay temporarily the gold kind of i just i don't know i didn't like it after a while. Also, I wanted to change the lug style because I hate the uh, Euro lug bolts because when you take out all five, the wheel will just fall off and it's just kind of weird. So I converted these to lug studs and uh, you can see in here, that's the actual stud. So the 
the rim rests on the studs and then these lug nuts obviously work like regular lug nuts they just uh, keep the wheel on that is done and looking good I think it just really rounds out the car makes it look a little bit more like I don't know track serious something like that but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I end up with a carbon fiber hood and just you know an, a Golf R turbo and a bunch of stuff anything I get for a daily driver it's still gonna be a daily driver but I can't help myself to to not mod it and then the last thing I did off camera I, uh, I replaced my PCV valve because it was just about time for some like preventative maintenance. So I did that. Uh, you can't, it's nothing to look at. Got an oil change and some little basic things here or there. Cleaned it up really nice, but that's really about it. So yeah, guys, I think that's gonna do it. Um, let me know if you want me to make another video or something about this car. I had originally planned just to do one video, just this video, and that's kind of it, and then go back to the Overland and. Tacoma content and all that. If you want to see more, let me know. I might do like some sound clips and everything of a different video of me driving around, just like a POV. If I can get like a microphone inside the engine bays, you can hear all the turbo noises and the blow off valve. That'd be sweet. And then another mic back there on the exhaust. That'd be really cool. I've always just kind of wanted to have a video of that because part of the, well, the biggest reason I went with this exact car is like to have those turbo noises to feel and drive the car with a manual transmission and stuff like that. That's all I got. Uh, thank you guys so much. If you've watched the whole video, it means a lot. I appreciate it. Don't worry, I still drive the Tacoma. I probably drive it once or twice a week. And then I drive this one every other day because uh, I live like just under 30 minutes away uh, to work. So it's about an hour commute a day. And this thing's just a lot more zippy and fun. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to all the companies who've helped support me on this build, Fitment Industries, um, ARM, uh, motorsports and AWB tuning all you guys I really appreciate the help and yeah drop a comment below if you want to know any more about this car thank you guys and see you in the next one